Hey, here's the first part for creating a low-poly FPS game with Blender and Unreal Engine and we start with rigging some low-poly hands. The model can be found on my Gumroad, get it for free so that it can follow along. Ok, let's start, here's the Blender project, I use Blender 2.9. We also have a camera that we don't need at the moment, so I hide it. And then we go ahead and press Shift and A to add an armature, a simple bone, which will be the root bone. I select the tail in edit mode, press G to move it, and I hold the control key pressed to snap to the grid, and then I move it a bit backwards. I rename the armature to, let's say, LP hands for low poly hands, and the bone I name root. Alright, then I duplicate the bone and move it to the inside of the hand, press Shift and D to duplicate, then I move it a bit upwards so that it matches the hand, that it is inside of the hand. Ok, and then you can also enable in front in the viewport display, so that you can see the bones through the mesh. This bone I name wrist, I always define a name after adding a bone so that I don't forget it. And then I open the viewport overlays and activate the wireframe and then the mesh is visible in every mode, which is important for bone placement, I'll come back to this later on. I bring the tail a bit more to the wrist and then we go ahead and extrude a new bone and I press the Y key to constrain it to the Y axis and this bone I call hand. Ok, now let's do the finger bones, I press Shift and D to duplicate the hand bone, then I move it over here and position the head and the tail so that it lines up with the joints of the fingers. Keep in mind that these parts will be bent when we animate the model. This is why I added at least 3 edge loops there. Then I set the name of the bone to index for the index finger. Then I press E to extrude the child bones and also rename them accordingly index 1 and index 2. Ok, now I snap to right autographic and move the bones so that they are inside of the hand mesh. And I always try to align the bones to the joints. Great, the bones for the first finger are placed, then I duplicate these bones and move them to the middle finger. I press R to rotate them a bit, like that and then again align the tail and the head and rename the bones. This process I repeat now for the ring finger and the pinky. I speed this up because it's the same procedure. Then I disable in front to see if the bones are really inside of the mesh. And this looks quite good. We can do some adjustments, but it's fine and we can continue with the thumb. This is the most complicated part, because the thumb has a different angle. I start by duplicating this bone and adjust the position of the head and the tail, like that. I rename it to thumb and then I move it more into the mesh. Now we have to adjust the rotation, I press N to open the sidebar and then I change the roll property of the bone.
some more adjustments and then I extrude again, I press E to extrude the child bones. Again I select the tails and move the bones more to the inside of the mesh. Like that and then I select these bones and hide them so that they are not in the way. We have to see the bones of the thumb from different angles. Very good, and again we have to open the panel and adjust the bones roll property. Alright, looks pretty good, now we can unhide the other bones again by pressing Alt and H. And now we have to define the hand bone as a parent to the finger bones. So I select these bones here, then the hand bone, press Ctrl and P and choose Keep Offset. Great, and later on, when we move the hand bone, the fingers will follow. Now comes a nice trick for naming. I select all the bones on the right side of the hand, press F3 and search for Auto Name Left Right. What happens then is that every bone gets a suffix which is .r to indicate that these are the bones on the right side. Great, and now you ask how to bring them to the left side, and here's another trick. Again, select the bones of the hand, press F3 and search for Armature Symmetrize. That's it, and have a look at the names. They also have a suffix, and this is .l for the left side. Isn't that great? Ok, now let's do the first step for parenting. This means we define the armature as the parent of the mesh. So select the hands first in object mode, then the armature with the shift key pressed, press Ctrl P and I select with automatic weights. This is a simple rigging and Blender tries to do its best to calculate the area of influence that each bone has on the mesh when it is posed. And we can test it when we change to pose mode with the armature selected and then for instance rotate the bones. And this seems to work very well. Here I constrain the rotation when I press R followed by X. Or when I rotate the thumb, it seems to bend the mesh in a correct way. And here for the wrist, pretty good as well, so what's missing? Let's have a look what happens when I rotate this bone. Here a part of the hand seems to be affected way too much, so this can't be solved with the automatic weights algorithm. So what we have to do now is to weight paint the mesh and I will show you this in the next part. Another topic will be to define rotation constraints for the fingers and then we come to creating animations. You can get the project from this Gumroad page, the link is added to the description. So guys I hope you found this interesting, if you do then don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, support me by being my patron or join here as a member, the members get the project for free. See you guys in the next part.